I got my apartment when I was, uh, I don't know, 19 or something, 20, 19, I guess, and in 1960. And I lived on on Second Avenue, so um, Second Avenue was noisy. I don't remember whether the L, I think the Third Avenue L was still around. Um, I'm starting off as a painter. I'm able to have a four-room apartment. I'm paying $42 a month, and I thought it was outrageous, but I managed to scrape the money up to do it. A lot of these early paintings were done in this environment. And Second Avenue was a perfect example of, you know, painting what I see, basically. And at the time, it looked like, you know, I said, well, Bob, you're a little, you know, this is a little absurd, you know, all this, all these trucks and cars jammed in doing this. Well, it's done in a way that, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, you have road rage in California and people shooting each other. And here, it's a little, I guess the color brings, makes it seem, well, it's, I wouldn't want to be in that traffic jam, but now red, the red light, which is another street scene. Again, the composition in both of them is what makes them work. What makes a painting real, you know, when we talk about realism, is when you believe the world that you paint. It's not copying a photograph or something like that. It's, it's, it's this, you know, it's, it's amusing to me but um, maybe not, <laughs> not to everybody, but it's like, but this is the kind of subject that, that gets me, uh, you know, that, that it gets my interest.